Well, Max has spaced dyed the yarn, so it creates very unusual patterns. There's a real jazzy pattern going on there. He's used vegetation, stuff from Howard Estate, which is collected, I believe, 50 kilos of, of material. And he's created rugs. Because the rugs are all unusual shapes, he's going to interlock them to create more of a rectangular area that's made up from amoebic shapes. So I helped Max to locate trees that uh, he needed for his dyes. He wanted silver birch. He didn't want to destroy any part of the landscape. So I took him to this tree here that had fallen down several years ago and we looked at the bark, um, which was still fairly moist and had some life left in it. Max took the bark off using some uh, special tools, taking it down to the bark cambium layer that's where the dye properties were really, and the pinky brown colouring in the, in the cambium layer, and he would have used natural mordants to bring out that dye and fix it to the wool, and it just produces a, a, a really nice colour. It's very unusual the way the pattern forms with the space dye yarn. As you can see here, there's no real pattern, it's just completely random. But with this area, <coughs> we've got it almost looks like triple eights here, which just come and appear and disappear, which is most unusual. There's no controlling how the pattern happens at all. We're in the yellow drawing room. This is one of the rooms that was designed for Edwin Lassels by Robert Adam, the architect. He actually designed the ceiling, a lot of the furniture, the carpets that went into the spaces of Harwood House. And what's wonderful about Mac's work is the fact that unlike the room, which was very detailed and regimented in its design, it was a lot more by chance what Max came up with. He never really knew what the colours were going to be when they came out, what the patterns were going to be when they were dyed as well. So it's actually very random. And to have that in such a precise room, such as the yellow drawing room, is a wonderful juxtaposition. I think it's a wonderful way of connecting the landscape with craft, using trees that would otherwise have just rotten into the ground to produce dyes is, is really lovely, I think. <laughs>